All right, let's see if Toyota fixed their remote start on the new Tacoma. One, two, three, and hold on the third. Lights are flashing. This takes forever, dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> so the timing, they definitely didn't fix. Tundra, man, that takes a minute too. But the thing is, when we open the door, will the truck shut off? <laughs> it doesn't. So, so with everyone saying it was a safety feature, John, because someone can just drive out with your truck. So I have not pressed the thing yet. You can see that the screen is still dead. We cannot put the truck. See that? It just shut off. So I messed with this and it shut off. So that is how a proper remote start should work. Good job, Toyota. Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are getting these windows tinted on the Tacoma. So, I mean, it is a little bit overcast today, but you can see the sun hitting my arm, hitting my legs, and you know, it's only 71 degrees right now in Florida. So if we add 15, 20 degrees to that, we could tell that these front two windows definitely need to get some tint on them. So we're going to OCD window tinting and wraps in Fort Walton Beach. They did my Tundra and they also did this Sequoia and their work is just phenomenal. So I think I'm just gonna do the front two windows on the Tacoma. I don't think that I'm gonna do the windshield. I did the windshield on my Tundra and the Pano. Not that I hate it, it's just I don't like to put cameras on the front windows. And if I do videos where I'm driving and I want like a GoPro up there or with this particular truck, we're gonna be doing off-road video content with it, lots of road trips and stuff with it. I kinda don't wanna have a camera right there, especially when it's warm and it may peel the film off. So back window we got a 29. Or, be, like, 70s. Okay. Even though it's clear, it's got a little bit of a color to it. Tap it. Yeah, you're right, right there at 74. Okay. So a little before and then after so we could see right through it. So Dane measured the back as you guys could see. And we're gonna go with 30% on the front to kind of be close to this. So if we did 20, it may end up being a little light, uh, a little too dark on the front, but if we're at 30, it may be very close to the rear because we're gonna still have light coming in from the windshield. But again, an overcasty day, kind of hard to see, but we can see straight through this truck. So we're gonna try to visually match the back as good as possible. Dang, and they just wrapped this like a matte black or they did tint on it or something. These little things are weird, dude. They have the H like right up there in the front uh, light. And then I think there's an H in the back too. The car confections dudes just had one of these new Santa Fe's and their, <laughs> their transmission went out at like uh, 34 miles, I think their truck had on it or their Santa Fe had on it. So I was asking Dane at OCD here if they uh, wrap this one because he told me that they just do really expel on stuff. They don't really wrap stuff anymore. And he said, no, this is factory paint, which is absolutely crazy. So it has like kind of a little bit of speck in it, you guys can see, but for the most part, it's just like paint. Like I, I could have sworn that this was a wrap, but I mean, it looks really good. So I'm just gonna go back inside, do some work and wait for them to get done with the Tacoma. films here a cheaper version and a more plus version both of them are by expel and they only offer ceramic here so the one that we're gonna go with is this because we are leaving the back window stock and also the windshield so mainly my main concern is just some of the heat coming in from the side so we're gonna do 30 percent Florida legal is 28 so if we did 20 on top of the 70 that's already there, it would be a bit darker, which cops don't really mind, but we'll do this to bring it down, like I said, very close to matching the rear, which will be nice. And then they have this cool thing here too, to sample it. So it's just these little heat lamps. As I go over here to the clear glass, I could really see some heat, some minor heat here in the middle, like not really that much. And then over here with the plus is what I have on my Tundra. I mean, I could put my hand on this, no problem. And uh, this is what I have on the Tundra and that film has been awesome so far man guys and just like that Dane is already done I've only been here for an hour so I mean granted it was just the front two windows oh there we go nice initial impressions that flows perfectly with the rear 
just allowing a little bit to be seen. Oh yeah, you could just see a little bit and then as we start to go, oh, that's perfect. All right, so we'll put the meter on it again. So 24 in the front and I completely forgot what the back was. I think we're at like 28-ish, it was close to that. 29, yeah, 28, 29. So that's dang near perfect. So yeah, so if we did 20 in the front, that would have been closer down to probably 18 or so. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. that would have been way darker in the front. You that's see, perfect. You know, the front's technically by the meter a little darker. It looks almost the same. And the fishbowl life is gone. All right, so again, I know it is an overcasty day and there is light coming in through the windshield, which I didn't want to tint the windshield of this because with what I have planned with this truck, I didn't want any like GoPros or phone mounts or whatever attached to that and really ruining the film. And even Dane said, yeah, we, we won't put that on the Tacoma with what you have planned for it. However, having the window tint here on the side windows is very nice. I'll show you guys a deeper look at it later, but I don't typically tint windows on vehicles that I don't plan on having for a while. Like I did the Sequoia because I thought we were gonna have it for a while in the Tundra, having it about a year and we do road trips with it. And that is why I tinted these windows here is because this truck, we're gonna be going out to the West Coast with it uh, soon, very soon, doing stuff with it, driving this truck a lot. I wanna be camping with this thing as well as we dip into summertime. I don't want just sun beating through right here and cooking me while I'm driving. So as I was making my way back home, the low fuel light came on about 14 miles left or so on the tank. So I know it was a big topic of conversation in the last video because the range of this was 299, so it was sub 300. But I just went back and looked at the video. It was 312 miles to my house, and I believe I had 40 miles of range left. So I got about 350 out of this tank. So the truck will just keep calculating and going up and up and up. And I know I think there's like a three gallon reserve on this. So really it's like a 400 mile tank if you add the 20 plus miles per gallon for each additional gallon that's still left in the truck. All right, so it just clicked off. So yeah, there's three gallons of reserve because I believe this tank is 18.9 and it filled up close to 16 gallons. And the truck's learning itself. So now we are reading 318 miles for the new range of this tank. But again, uh, like I said, it will uh, most likely be more than 318 because the last tank, I think it was like 350. Granted, it was a lot of highway driving. So this, we're gonna start to get more city driving uh, on this tank. Back home now, we got the sun pretty much hitting it. And of course I have a ton of pine trees, so it is hard to see, but you could see kind of through it. We'll just get a little bit closer. So you could see a little bit through it and in and then it pretty much matches the back. And then as we go to what the film actually is, it kind of has like a little bit of a blue hue to it versus the back glass that's just, you know, a little bit more clear see-through and a little bit more white, I guess, because the film definitely does have kind of a little bit blue of a hue to it. And now looking at it with the sun kind of right over there, man, it just, it just matches perfectly. So definitely gives you a little bit of privacy but not too dark like i did the forerunner where it's five percent and then this is what something would look like with window tint on the front windshield like i did my tundra and i think i went a little bit darker on the front of this but again you just see the, the pine trees and can't really see that much on the inside of the tundra and this one too i did leave the back windows uh, untinted and just a factory. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. More mods and more stuff and more videos coming of the fourth gen Tacoma, but had to get the window tint done first. It's one of my favorite mods to do both functionality wise and aesthetic wise for a new vehicle when I get them. So guys, I appreciate you all watching and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.